In 1935, Schrodinger imagined his cat alive and dead at the same time, and mysteriously resolved into a living cat by mere observation. A superposition and a solution he meant as criticism for quantum pioneers. It was his way of saying quantum physics needs a real physical explanation. Everett's many worlds interpretation was an attempt to end the superposition by splitting the universe. And this raised even more questions and caused more discomfort for many physicists. In 1989, Roger Penrose argued that the superposition, whether of two energy states or two versions of a cat, can't last forever. Sooner or later, gravity forces a choice. Here's why. You see, each version of the cat, alive or dead, bends space-time just a little differently. That means the superposition isn't just in the atom or the cat, it's in space-time itself. The greater the difference, the shorter the superposition lasts. Microscopic particles can linger in two states for ages, but once the system reaches the Planck mass scale, roughly 10 to the negative 8 kilograms, for big things like a cat or you, space-time collapses the wave almost instantly. Penrose formalized this with tau equals h-bar over eg where tau is the lifetime of the superposition and eg is the gravitational self-energy of the mass difference. So, in the end, it's not magic. It's the universe refusing to stay undecided and nature's gravity being the decision maker. What makes Penrose's idea so elegant is that it reconciles two of physics's greatest theories. Quantum mechanics allows superpositions while relativity governs space-time and gravity. Penrose shows that gravity itself can collapse the quantum wave, so the universe doesn't need an observer to decide, hence the name objective reduction. It will happen naturally, without intervention or observation. In his words, we gravitize quantum, not quantize gravity, letting both realms coexist without contradiction and setting Schrodinger's cat free. Once again, thanks for watching, and moi.